it's been a while since you've seen two videos in one day and also since i've actually edited one of the videos so novel obviously i'm pretty sure is sound asleep right now so i decided to go ahead and let you guys know what this event is all about they did release the trailer they did release the patch notes and i was not expecting the patch notes to honestly like go with our expectations i thought it would be another disappointment and i was just praying for the best and honestly i think we got a pretty good event coming up pretty soon and this is going to be proceeding into the next event and the next season as well so if you guys have not seen already the trailer i'll play it in the background for you so that you guys can watch it also we are getting the world's edge after dark but it's not just for the halloween event it's also going to be for this event right here we actually did get a new limited time mode as we expected which is going to be called living shell trios now basically you can throw this big old revenant skull head and it's going to track down the enemies and explode on impact and according to their patch notes it should do a significant amount of damage so this i think will be fun because i think it's a little bit more uh you know i guess extravagant than the last ones that we've been getting like it's not just like a battle royale takeover it actually seems like this is going to be the main spot of the game the main concept of the game and it's going to be really different so i'm pretty for this now also you can be saying goodbye to some of your good old friends as they did make some patch notes balance updates 30 30 going into the crafter re45 with hammer points entering into the crafter mozambique coming back to the floor and oh my gosh the nemesis is going to be meta again because it is back in the floor as well well maybe not so because yes they finally did nerf the nemesis damage has now been reduced to 16 instead of 17 so the dps has been decreased and then ads recoil has been increased as well so it's going to be a little bit harder to control thank god for that because the nemesis was needing a nerf legends that also got changes of course fuse got a little bit of a buff with the tactical deployment speed increased because his uh, heirloom is out i mean of course they always do a little bit of a buff before the heirloom comes out horizon though weird one they've been talking like they weren't going to nerf her for a little bit like ahead of time but no they actually did nerf her with the gravity lift vertical lift has now been reduced the speed by 20 percent. so she's going to go up slower her weapon accuracy has been decreased in the lift and hover time at the top of a lift has been reduced as well so she's just basically Basically got nerfed all across the board rampart amped cover also placement time reduced so a little bit of a buff for rampart and now remains in placement mode after deploying a wall revenant forge shadows the reduced time extension from nox to five seconds instead of 10 seconds and then extra damage to shroud will bleed through to revenant if it breaks basically this means if you do like you know a kraber shot 140 to the revenant forge shadows it will only do 75 normally to his like to break his little shield thing now it'll bleed through and do proper damage like it's supposed to so that actually should have been done to the start of it to be honest with you shadow pounce also slightly increased pounce angle compensation when looking at the ground maps also the world's edge after dark has been added to you know the ltm thank god for that i was really hoping that it wasn't just going to be like a halloween thing at the end of october but no it's actually going to be for the ltm as well ranked also has some changes they basically now guarantee percentage per kill elimination bonus has been raised across all levels so it should be easier for you to rank up as well and then if you've ever had problems with like you know your gold friend getting a lot more points than you and even though you're a higher rank or whatever point disparity between teammates of vastly different skill levels have been reduced as well so that should no longer happen at least so they say they gave a lot of bug fixes i really just hardly ever take these seriously because audio i feel like it always gets worse whenever they try to mess with it they did kind of fix some uh, bugs with the digital thread and such but the link to the entire patch notes is down in the comment section below honestly i'm just very excited that we finally got an event we finally got content we finally got you know og maps that were so fun after dark modes of them a new limited time mode that actually just isn't like a battle royale takeover with a node tracker that was so cringe and lame finally it's getting good and honestly to top it all off yes we do got skins and these collection event skins are not bad i do like the fuse one and i like the guitar as well so props to respawn this one is a w event in my opinion and overall not too shabby compared to like apex's best events of all time maybe not but i mean look we haven't had anything and this is pretty good and to see horizon like dramatically nerfed like that is honestly pretty cool too so i'm thinking the meta is going to be bangalore and then catalyst and then bloodhound that's what i personally think let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below about the patch notes and how you feel about them going into the future of apex and until the next time i will see you all later gators